What's going on everybody? Thank you for checking out the channel. In today's video, we're reapplying for two-factor authentication on Activision and CallofDuty.com so that you guys can understand the entire process. Once you're logged into your Call of Duty account, go to the Privacy and Security tab within your profile and click on Enable Two-Factor Authentication. Once you get this pop-up screen, this light box, Account Verification Required, it's going to ask you to enter the code that is sent to your email address. So check your email for your verification code. Now, every single time that you hit submit, if it doesn't go through, it's actually gonna generate a new code. So also when you go to your email, check your spam folder to see if any of the notifications actually got sent there and that happened to me. And as another reminder, every single time that you enter the code, you, you click that button, you're generating a new code. And there's no way around that, unfortunately. It's just the way that Activision has this developed out. And so just when you, request the password, just wait. If, if, if you don't wait, you're gonna end up generating a new code and then the one that was previously sent to you is invalid and it looks like the emails get sent at 60 second intervals. So you gotta wait just a little bit and see when you get your code. Now, when you finally do get your code and you log in, what you're gonna see on screen is a notification that says secure session. That means that you have authenticated with your account, but you still have not set up two-factor authentication. That has to be done with the Google Authenticator app or a third-party authenticator app similar to that. So if you wanna proceed with two-factor authentication, once your secured session is set up, you need to click, you go to privacy and security, and you click on enable two-factor authentication. This is where it takes you to this individual page and you will need to enter in your new password that was assigned to you and then go into the authentication app, in this case, Google's Authenticator. After scanning the QR code on the screen within the Google Authenticator app, it will generate a code for you and you enter in that code that it generates you on the fly. And then you can activate it just like that. And you can double check then within your privacy and security that two-factor authentication is actually set up. Now, I've had a lot of you in the comments desperately looking for help and I just ran through this process um, again to, to help validate and to help uh, validate within this video that this is the correct process. So as a recap, when you log into your account on, on calloduty.com within your Activision account, you have to initially take that code that is generated that is sent to your email and then take that little six, seven digit code and enter that in. It will then generate a success message if you've done that correctly. You then go to the privacy and security tab within your profile itself, and then you can enable the two-factor authentication there by downloading a third-party authentication app, uh, application similar to the Google Authenticator. Once you've made it to that screen, you then see, once you see the QR code and everything that's there, go into the Google Authenticator app, um, uh, hold your phone up against your monitor or whatever you're using, so you can scan that QR code. That will link your accounts together, and then you can take your password, and you can take that new code that is being displayed to you in the Authenticator app and enter that in, and everything will work flawlessly. So I promise this works. I just validated it again. Um, but let me know if you're struggling in the comments below and if you need some help. If you happen to like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, comment below if you're having any kind of issues or if you have any other tips and tricks of how to get this done. Um, this is the only method that I've seen um, so far on the internet. And there have been a lot of people stopping by the channel. So thank you all, everybody, for subscribing recently. If you haven't done so, please do so now. Um, and again, if you happen to like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you're having any kind of issues and if you happen to like the channel uh, please subscribe i'd love to have you on board and then you can get notifications when i upload new videos just like this one so i hope you have a good one and i'll see you in the next video